We're back with another You Are an Artist art project by Sarah Urist Green, who for the last seven years has been discussing art and what it means to us. She works with PBS Digital Studios and her videos can be found on YouTube at the channel The Art Assignment. Today we're going to be looking at the work of Kim Dingle. Kim Dingle started by making paintings of little girls in frilly white dresses, bobby socks, and black Mary Janes, who stomped, scowl, fight, climb fences, and drink wine at a wine bar. After having painted these little girls for 20 years, she moved on to other styles of art, including a series called Home Depot Coloring Books, which she purchased sections of widely available oriented strand board and treated it like a paint-by-numbers canvas. Her art dealer proposed that she return to painting a series of the little girls, which Dingle said she could do with her eyes closed. So that's what she did. She set up some paper and paint, tied a scarf over her eyes, and started painting. Dingle worked from muscle memory and used her other hand to mark the page when she needed to get more paint. She then repeated the process multiple times and found many of them too hideous to look at. But for the most part, she was surprised and delighted by what she'd made. Her art dealer displayed the work in a solo exhibition in 2018. She says that to mentally prepare to do this art assignment yourself, make sure it's the feeling you would get right before you have your first sky dive. Dingle believes that it is important to do art like this as it gives you a new awareness of the world that you didn't have before. The supplies for this project are two pieces of paper, bigger can be better, a drawing implement, it can be paint, but it can also be any other medium you want to use, and a blindfold. Now we're going to draw what we know and not what we see. Blindfold yourself and draw your home. If you don't want to draw your home, you can choose anything that you know really well. Remember you are drawing what you know about something rather than what you would see. Once done, put the drawing aside so you can't see it and grab the second sheet of paper. Remove the blindfold and draw the same subject again. When you've finished the second drawing, grab the first drawing and compare the two. Which one do you think is more expressive? How do the two different pieces make you feel? Try it out and make sure to share your artwork with us.